finally this. Can we see some signs of spring? Yeah, of course not. <laughs> ah, Kim, maybe so. We have thunderstorms in the forecast. Uh, at least a slight risk of those, as well as some rainfall. So yes, indeed, some active weather is upon us. And the temperatures continue to rise throughout the day today and into the overnight. In fact, tomorrow we will reach our daytime high of 6 in Toronto, which is what we're calling for early. Actually, it will likely be in the overnight, so an early day high will be reached. Okay, let's get to warnings. We have rainfall warnings in place all throughout southern Ontario, but Ottawa is in both. You can see the colors just slightly different. Ottawa, you're in freezing rain and rainfall. So freezing rain to the northeast, big time snow to the north and west. Low pressure system is coming in. Again, warm front. Initially, we could see some mixing here, but changing to rain. Across southern Ontario, generally, we're looking at between 20 and 30 millimeters of rain. It could be slightly higher if we get some thunderstorms. In fact, those thunderstorms are already down toward Toledo, Ohio right now. So the risk of storms is all throughout southern Ontario. Also, the MNR has issued a provincial flood watch all across southern Ontario because of the potential for flooding. This weather segment. Right now, the rain is coming. We have fog right now, but the rain is on its way. Not only that, but a little bit of this. Yeah, that would be thunder that you heard there, and we can't rule out the possibility of some thunderstorms across southern Ontario. I know it is unusually mild as we head into the overnight and for tomorrow. In fact, the temperatures are expected to climb or stay steady. So we'll reach that early in the day and then the temperatures will drop thereafter. In terms of snowfall on the ground, there you still have areas that have a lot of snow on the ground. But clearly, as we get this rain to move in almost all across southern Ontario, it's going to eat up at a lot of that snow. Through the north, on the other hand, especially around near Thunder Bay and the north side of Superior, we're going to add on top of that another oh, 20, 30 centimeters of snow. So the snow is going nowhere <laughs> yet to the north. But across the south, we certainly are looking at some rainfall. We also have thunderstorms right even through um, Ohio, even at this point. So looking at some pretty decent thunderstorms, and that risk will continue to move across. Southern Ontario for the daytime tomorrow may hear a few rumbles of thunder, so don't be surprised if you do indeed hear that. We do have rainfall warnings across the south of the province. Ottawa's in both rain and freezing rain. You can see the rain, freezing rain concern north of Montreal, actually including Montreal to the north, to the northeast of the province. Our warm front moving up and then snowfall up into the northwest of the province. So that's what this warm front is doing. It's ushering in that mild air, but the cold front then follows suit and then the temperatures are going to uh, drop again. So the temperatures are going to be fluctuating quite a bit over the next 24 to 36 hours. And how much rain might we see? Well, there is a flooding concern because of the snow melt, the snowpack that's on the ground. Of course, we've had a lot of snowfall this year. But you add on top of that, in general terms, 20 to 30 millimeters, but in some localized areas down toward the southwest, including Kitchener-Waterloo, London, Windsor, maybe 30 to 45 millimeters of rain. There is the possibility of some basement flooding. Also want to mention that the temperatures are still cold at the surface, so untreated surfaces like sidewalks and driveways will likely be fairly slippery despite the rain. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> the, the video will be available after we get the spring weather, which is actually coming in uh, today and, and into tomorrow. We actually do have some rain in the forecast and even some rumbles of thunder. Already heard of reports of thunder snow in Windsor. So we have rainfall warnings in place across the south. Ottawa's in both freezing rain and the rain warning itself. We're going to see generally 20 to 30 millimeters of rain across the board, some higher totals further south, especially if we get thunderstorms. But in Toronto, there's another thing that's underway, and Kevin's been having too much fun, in my view. Thank you very much. I think he's a bit winded there. <laughs> Provincial flood watch, uh, flood watch, I should say, from the MNR all across southern Ontario. So rain and possibly thunderstorms. This weather cycle. Oh, yes, I know, after the kind of winter it's been. And it's going to come with a little bit of this. Yes, that would be thunder. We've already seen and heard reports of Thunder snow in the southwest in the Windsor area, some thunderstorms stateside as well. We do have the risk of seeing those across southern Ontario today. The warnings, though, 
are for rainfall for the south. Uh, Ottawa's in both freezing rain and rain, but freezing rain is a concern with this warm front as it pushes up particularly across northeastern Ontario. The north and west, on the other hand, is getting a lot of snow from this system. Through the south, though, warm enough to see a transition over to rainfall, and with that, we cannot rule out the possibility of some rumbles of thunder. The higher risk for severe weather is stateside, but this is certainly an anomaly as you head into the uh, mid to late part of February to see thunderstorms and to hear those um, see, or have that potential. In terms of temperatures, though, we're slowly climbing. We'll stay at about this range through the overnight, and then by the early morning hours, we're definitely going to be seeing warmer temperatures. And of course, this time of year, we start to feel kind of spring like. We're thinking about spring cleaning and cleaning our homes, right? Well, the home show is on and Kevin Yard is there. Thank you so much, Kevin. And exactly what Kevin was just talking about, getting some colder air behind it. You can actually see that by Friday afternoon, the temperatures will have plummeted, and we're going to continue on that trend. Next week, there is indication that most areas of the country will be in a deep freeze once again. That does not necessarily bode well because we've got snow on the ground, but this is largely going to be eaten up with the mild temperatures and the rain coming in, and we're going to compact a lot of the snow that we've seen. Then we'll get cold temperatures next week and a possible again, freezing, all of that could turn to ice. So it's not looking great in terms of next week and, and the cold uh, air that's going to be in place. Provincial flood watch is in place right across southern Ontario. And if you want to share your weather with us, you can do so at the... Ah, Kim, maybe so. We have thunderstorms in the forecast, uh, at least a slight risk of those, as well as some rainfall. So yes, indeed, some active weather is upon us and the temperatures continue to rise throughout the day today and into the overnight. In fact, tomorrow we will reach our daytime high of six in Toronto, which is what we're calling for early, actually it'll likely be in the overnight, so an early day high will be reached. Okay, let's get to warnings. We have rainfall warnings in place all throughout Southern Ontario, but Ottawa is in both. You can see the colors just slightly different. Ottawa, you're in freezing rain and rainfall. So freezing rain to the northeast, big time snow to the north and west. Low pressure system is coming in, again, warm front. Initially, we could see some mixing here, but changing to rain. Across southern Ontario, generally, we're looking at between 20 and 30 millimeters of rain. It could be slightly higher if we get some thunderstorms. In fact, those thunderstorms are already down toward Toledo, Ohio right now. So the risk of storms is all throughout southern Ontario. Also, the MNR has issued a provincial flood watch all across southern Ontario because of the potential for flooding.